What do you got? A new truck now? Yeah. Why well, about a white one? Put it in. in. Again? Well, I wanted to put an extended warranty on it. And I called this place in Harrisburg. They had this one. They delivered it. Yeah. I got an 85,000 mile warranty. Oh, man. Gotta love it. That's the guy from the, I see him at the scrap yard all the time. He got another truck. He's been through three trucks, four trucks, since I've had one van. I've only had the van for like two years. Three, three years, two years, I don't know. We have a creature sighting. Two creatures. Wait a minute, one's a yellow lab and I don't know if they're one. Maybe a border collie. Not sure. Ah, dogs, aren't they something special? They are something special. Like salsa of the other day with the rain. She was soaking wet all night and she tried getting into bed. I was like, you can't do this at this moment. Anyway, welcome everyone. We are back again. That might be the last community yard sale. I think I said that last time and uh, I totally forgot about this one, but this one's in New Jersey. Uh, community yard sale day. Let's find some fun things and see what happens. Could be fun. Could be bad. Could find a ton of things. Could find nothing. But we'll do something today. Uh, it is kind of hazy and humid. Foggy. But it's yard sale day. Let's get into it. Let's find some treasure. Let's do it. Good morning. Alright. <laughs> That's good. Good to hear. Thank you. Alright. Uh, it says Late Show on it, so I'm not sure if it's like Late Show David Letterman or if it's even like a very common jacket. I'm not sure. But for a dollar, I don't think I can lose money. And no, I didn't look it online. Just kind of going on a wind. How much are the sandbags? Three. Three each? No, three. Hey. Three. Where are you getting on the hockey stick? I gotta get you something. And the basketball. Got sand for when uh, we have a big flood. Why I fill up sandbags. I bought sandbags, but I didn't buy the sand. So. Hopefully this works. Everything on the spark is free. <laughs> Thank you.
There's stuff in here too. You want to go in. Oh. And around the corner. All right. You know those girls can go around the corner. Oh uh, yeah. Good. I didn't think about that either. It's like in between really nice stuff and like reproduction stuff. It's, it's interesting. There's a really nice chair out. Like this is a perfect shelf. If you need a shelf, a vintage shelf, you have a shop, but I don't have my truck with me. Of course, it always works out that way. You try to save some on gas mileage, you don't want to drive the big boy. I'm trying to think what I can use that for, but it's just off. You know, this is a great shelf for if you have a a store. How much is that leather chair? It's a leather chair. Yeah. Um, I was asking 50. Okay. It is from the seven. This stand that I'm at right now is a garage sale. That's where I bought like I think three cases of exterior light bulbs because I know like one light bulb was like $12 and they were selling like the cases for like two bucks a case. And there's like 12 to a case. So I've not used any of them also. But the prices are so cheap here. Five dollars for a set, a dollar for these. I mean this is these are a dollar each. Box of light bulbs. All right, I think I just got a box of nine for a dollar. I didn't use the other ones, but it's literally a dollar. They're all these and they're flood bolts, which I use in my barn. Do I really need more? It's where hoarding gets into a problem, I think. I think you just got to take the deal when it's a deal. What's the brand? Falscraft. Wow, that's a good brand. Oh, that one? What's that one? I don't even know. Give me that one. Is it your stuff? Is this yours? Okay, I'll go down there. Thank you. Oh, you want to just put I hold it for you. Oh, okay. Thank you. I just can't keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I created a file. All right, perfect. Thank it's you. Yeah, that way we know. But yeah, you got one, two, one something, grab it. Otherwise, you can right. go back to it and guess what? It's gone. Gone. <laughs> yes, yes.
Bahamas, they can inspect some dirt on the anything by the ocean. Are you the gentleman with the silverware? That is mine, yes. Yeah, do you want me to put this? Yes, can you please? Thank you. Close your dad, please. Six, yeah. six, seven. Uh, what is it? Six. Yeah. Like tied in here. Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Probably not recently because I have this big one now that I use, but it works. I mean, you sure? Check it. I'm going to have to get it. I'm going to. I just didn't want to leave this. I'll watch it. Oh, okay. And then I'll go back when you're done. I'll take that. Those, yeah, the Just Eagles. These two? Oh, these two. I'll take those. Thank you. you get a chance you put it the And this guy. No, I, I, I can actually use those wrenches because I always have mismatched ones and they're oh, almost a complete okay. set. So it's nice to just have a set. Come on, can't leave this one. <laughs> That's why you're selling them. All right, so made it back home. Uh, did pick up some really cool things today at the yard sales. Uh, we got a nice older vintage hockey stick. The guy actually gave this to me for free. Um, it's so vintage, so old, you can, I guess, theoretically use this. Well, there's kind of a curve there, but there was a time where all the hockey sticks were kind of just flat. That way you don't need a certain... Um, I don't know if the size is the right word, but you either shoot right-handed or you shoot left-handed. So if they're flat, you can use them both ways. Now, it's not going to work that great, but it's a lot easier to hit a hockey puck with a flat stick as opposed to a backhand of a stick uh, if it's curved the other way. So it's kind of universal. 
the Big Nine Louisville. I got this because my friend Dave, who always gives me all the scrap metal, and always, once in a while, gives me some other items um, when I go trash picking through town. Um, he's still doing that thing with the hockey sticks, so I figured I'll pick that up. The guy gave it to me for free. He also gave me a basketball for free. Or no, he charged me a dollar for one of these basketballs. Uh, but I picked up all this sand. You guys see all those nice bags of sand? Um, I thought he said three, but he said free. Um, so I gave him a couple bucks just for, you know, the basketball and the hockey stick and, of course, the sand. Um, and the reason why I bought it is because I got sandbags in case we ever have another incident and I have a lot of water running into the driveway or something. I can put sandbags up and hopefully divert it enough where it won't completely destroy anything. Um, I figured it was probably a good idea to buy sandbags at some point, considering I never owned them. And there's been a handful of times where I've been like, I want to divert water to one area, and all I really need is like three or four. So I went out and bought the bags on Amazon, and uh, it does come with the sand. you got to fill it up yourself. So, yep. Sure beats going to Home Depot or Lowe's or anything like that. Um, this is a really nice basket. Um, the basket was only, I think, a dollar. They had a couple more. I kind of took the one that I liked the most. I don't know what they're doing there. They might be cleaning out. They always have a ton of linens and crafts and uh, other items. Really, really cheap. This was only, I think, a dollar. Vintage Yankees hat. Snapback. Oh, they wrapped everything. Wow. I don't know if that was completely necessary because I was paying like 10 cents a piece for some of this stuff. Um... This was kind of cool. This was only a quarter. It's from Newark, New Jersey. I guess this would be an ashtray. So that was really neat. There's a bunch of handful of you know other things. I started picking up things that I needed for myself. Like the other other month, I went out and actually bought these cups because I was baking um, thing little muffins, and they're kind of expensive. I can't remember what it was. It was like three dollars for fifty, and this was ten cents for all this. So. Yeah, I'll pick it up, right? For 10 cents, you're never going to find something like that for 10 cents. thought this was great. Anyone who's been down there knows that is a very iconic canoe-style boat. That is good old Wildwood. So that's cool. Um, this was really cheap, too. This was only 10 cents. So you got a lot of things there that were 10 cents. Just really cool-looking items. Some older Eagles glasses, also 10 cents. These, I think, are late 80s. Almost like the Burger King glasses. So there's a bunch of those in there. I won't bore you too much with that. Um, picked up another basketball. More stuff that was there. Nice butter dish. It has the insert. Very mid centuries with the wood on top. That's why I bought it. It's great for Lammerville. Lammerville mid century stuff sells very, very well. This looks like it was never even used. Has a sticker still on it. Swedish with the wood handles. Once in a while you'll find this. It'll be worth a decent amount on eBay. Um, other times they're like 15, 20 bucks. Um, but the mid-century stuff, the Swedish, really, really hot. Has been hot for I don't know how long. Dollar for all these forks and spoons. One of these is a false craft set. And then the other one, I don't know what the other set is. But where are you gonna find a set like that? Regent, out of Japan, for a dollar for all of this can't beat the prices and I got a uh, two things of wrenches so this one's all kind of I want to say messed up but it's kind of like welded together at a point the other ones are pretty good um, there's two sets in there one's a small set it's mixed brands some craftsman some SK uh, the larger set is all SK so I figured for a whole set of wrenches in sequential order essentially it's a good find Moving on with that, the most profitable one would be this jacket. It says show on that side. The other side says late. It's made by the brand Golden Bear. It's a really, really good bear, uh, brand. If anyone out there finds jackets made by Golden Bear, I would highly suggest try picking them up. Um, doesn't really matter about what's written on this. I believe that is late show David Letterman, but I could be could be wrong. But really good find there. Um, and of course, the last stop, I did pick up a bunch of bottles, milk bottles, wood lawn, a handful of other ones down here. This is out of Mount Carmel, Pennsylvania. 
Get another milk bottle in there. If you like bottles, probably appreciate this one's from Phoenix out Buffalo. It's a blob top style. There was one Hutch bottle, Hutchinson as they call it. That would be this. It's from Plymouth, Pennsylvania. Um, these can fetch a good amount because there's not really that many out there. A lot of people collect certain styles of bottles. Uh, if you're not collecting certain towns, you might collect certain styles. So this is called a Hutch bottle. Hutch is something that someone does collect. Uh, there is a following for that, just like there are squats. Uh, and there's people who collect just blob top, any size, small, large, medium, whatever you like to call it, six inches, uh, or, or like the smaller ones are like usually four inches. Um, yeah, there's collectors for that. So if you ever find Hutch bottles really cheap, they usually have a town on them, grab them. It ended up being uh, $2 for all the bottles I grabbed. I think I grabbed a total of eight because he said, oh, they're a quarter each or 50 cents each. So I was like, if you want, they're 50 cents each, I'll give you four bucks. He's like, just give me two. So saved myself a couple dollars there. But great day all around. Found some goodies. You can almost say that is N2 yard sales, but... They pop up from time to time. I don't know how. I thought that was it a couple weeks ago. Anyway, thanks for tagging along. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. And, of course, I'll catch you guys next time for our next venture. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.